as you can see here in the Orange County Register, because I, hey, I'm going to tell y'all something real quick, just a little tidbit. If you want to get some real, real, true reporting, local media, local, uh, um, like, local journalists, local broadcasts, especially if you're in the South Florida area, um, they do a fantastic job with covering real stories before the, the, the national media crushes them. So definitely, if you want to look up breaking news and stuff like that, like the truth, look up local media stuff. So, because this is from Orange County's local media. All right. So, healthcare worker dies after second dose of COVID vaccine. Investigations are underway. I'm not making this up. YouTube, if y'all post this later, I'm not sure if I will post this later, but I probably will. The Orange County Register. This is an official, official tissel. You see that? Look at that, that logo. That logo is like official. You can't can't be dishonest with a logo that good looking, okay? Uh, so it says, Tim Zook's last post on Facebook brimmed with optimism. Never been so excited to get a shot before, he wrote on January 5th above a photo of the Band-Aid on his arm and his COVID-19 vaccine card. I am now fully vaccinated after receiving my second Pfizer dose. Zook, 60, was an X-ray techno, techno, uh, technologist uh, at South Coast Global Medical Center in Santa Ana. A couple of hours later, he had an upset stomach and trouble breathing. By 3.30 p.m., it was so bad, his colleagues at work walked him to the emergency room. Should I be worried? His wife Rochelle texted when she got the news. No, absolutely not. He texted back. Do you think this is a direct result of the vaccine? She typed, no, no, he said, I'm not sure what, but don't worry. Mm, mm, mm. There were suspicions of COVID and a diagnosis of congestive heart failure. Zook was put on oxygen. Then just four hours later, a beep bop machine to help uh, push air into his lungs. Multiple tests came back negative for COVID. Shortly after midnight on January 7th, the hospital called Zook in a, medic in a uh, medically induced coma and on a ventilator to help him breathe. But his blood pressure soon dropped and he was transferred to UC Irvine Medical Center. On Friday, I get, I get a call. His kidneys are failing. He needs to be on dialysis. If not, he could die. But there's no chance. There's also a chance he might have a heart attack or a stroke on dialysis because of his blood pressure being so low. By 4 a.m. Saturday, January 9th, Zook had gone code blue twice and was snatched back from the brink of death. There was a third code blue in the afternoon. They said if he went code blue a fourth time, he'd have brain damage and be a vegetable if he survives. Rochelle Zook, the wife, said. Later that day, Tim Zook died. That's a real story, people. This is real life. It's not a game anymore. Y'all see this. Right? Y'all see this. I'm not making... This is, this is a an established media source. They got the pictures of the vaccine. The date that he, what well, was the birthday? The birthday, the day he took it, which appears to be the fifth, four days later, but after being admitted two days later, Mr. Zook died. But here's what, this is like Stockholm Syndrome, bro. This is how strong propaganda is, in my opinion. And this is why you got to be careful, bro. You, like, people got to understand just how real this propaganda is. When she, they goes on to say reaction, but no blame. We are blaming, we are not blaming any pharmaceutical company, said Rochelle Zook, <clears throat> a resident of Orange. My husband loved what he did. He worked in hospitals for 36 and a half years. He believed in vaccines. Doesn't mean he had to believe in this one. 
I'm sure he would take that vaccine again and he would want the public to take it. I'm sorry, Mrs. Zook, but uh. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Bro, I'm out, man. It's tripping. Are you are you are you kidding me? Are y'all are y'all joking right now? I don't understand. What is there to discuss? I took a vaccine. I it's my second iteration of the COVID vaccine. I'm in the hospital a day later or a day and a half later and I I died a day after that. Okay, I just got to just one more. It's true. I'm trying to understand what exactly, what proof. So if this person had COVID, right? Let's just say they had some remnants of COVID. And they died in a car accident two days later, based off of the standard that we saw, would they not have attributed it to COVID? They would they would say it's COVID, give us some money for treating this government, and we're gonna just here you go. Here you go. To give them the money. And nobody ever questions the fact that yo, but then this person died from a car accident. I don't think that's the same thing. I don't think we're being consistent here. Let's use some common sense. Shut up. Give me money. That's because because y'all remember the CARES Act, right? What they say: if you if they die of COVID, you get more money. If you if they die while on a uh, dialysis, they get more money. Once again, these hospitals are private institutions for the most part. They're all operating out of the red due to Obamacare's failures. Any money they can get, they'll take. So yeah, they would say if he died in a car accident, even if they thought he had COVID, they would say it was he was dying of COVID. But two days, dying two days after you get a vaccine or three days after you get a vaccine for COVID, an experimental vaccine. And you're like, no, nah, man, what are you talking about? It's cool. We're not going to blame anybody. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Bro, I'm out, man. It's tripping. So, uh. What's more interesting is what she what she said next, which, which actually, uh, con it was like a completely contradictory statement. She said, "Uh, but when someone gets symptoms two and a half hours after the vaccine, that's a reaction, because that's what happened to him. This is from the wife. So what else could have happened?" We would like the public to know what happened to Tim so he didn't die in vain. Severe reactions are rare. In reality, COVID is, much, is a much more deadly force than reactions from the potential vaccine itself. Okay, what? Is it is or is it ain't? It's basically what I, look, she goes on to say, the message is be safe, take the vaccines, but the officials need to do more research. I. Uh, I'm not about to put something in my arm when your husband just died and you just said they need to do more research. What the fuck is wrong with people? Am I the one who's crazy? Do these sentences together in this structure don't make any sense to me. They don't make any sense. It's either it needs to be researched further or it's a good vaccine. I mean, of course, we should always continue to research. Like nobody is not, like, I'm not saying don't research. You should always constantly and regularly do that. Like science, the one thing about the, uh, excuse me, the one characteristic with science that's consistent is that you never get the science right 100% ever. There's always more that you can learn. There's always more that you can figure out. And basically, but but like basically you want to have at least a, like I want to be 96% sure that this isn't going to kill me. Can we be at least confident in that? No. So uh That's what And then what look, she said uh he was had high blood pressure, but that had been controlled medication before. 
And they say he was slightly overweight, but he was actually really healthy. And he had never been hospitalized, ever. He got, he'd get, he'd get a cold and would be over it in two days. The flu, he would be over it in three days. His, his death had been reported to the National Vaccine Adverse Event Reporting System run by the Food and Drug Administration and the CDC. Y'all think we about to see some justice or some news we put out about this? <laughs> y'all funny. Y'all funny. If y'all think that they're about to take, they're gonna take it seriously, but they're gonna take it seriously only in the sense of making sure none of us ever find out ever what happened. If you didn't watch this show, shout out to my Rock Fan Premium fam. If you didn't watch this show, you probably wouldn't have known it happened. Because this story is huge. They're saying this guy died on the ninth, right? But make sure. Yes. January 9th. It's January 28th. How is this not international news? This was originally published, like even given the benefit of the doubt. It was written on January 26th. How has the CDC not been talking about this? How has the CNN not been talking about this? How has MSNBC not been talking about this? How has Fox News not even been talking about this? How, how, like, what? This is the, just like the, the Hank Aaron story, which we did. Hank Aaron died. Just a couple of, right before he was about to get his second iteration of the vaccine, he died. So he didn't even get to the second one. We don't know if it's a vaccine though. We don't know. We just gotta do some more research. Do research. My husband just died, but do more research and go get the vaccine anyway. And like, good luck. Hope you don't die. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Bro, I'm out, man. It's tripping. Yeah, I'm going to pass up on that one. If y'all cool, I'm going to pass up on, on the vaccine. And this is Pfizer, in case you need to go sell your stocks. Pfizer vaccine killed somebody. Once again, just in case you need to go sell your stocks. Pfizer, just don't try to sell them on Robinhood, though, because uh, you might not be able to do it.